Hey guys, it's boy Johanna. Welcome back to my channel, Fat. So hope you guys are doing absolutely great. So in today's video, we have our brand new Duke 390 2024 edition. So this video will be a quick walk around of this bike. Uh, I will make a separate video for uh, owner's experience uh, of mine because uh, it's my bike. <laughs> that is why. So. I'll make a, a quick walk around uh, video of this bike, uh, fully walk around of this bike and later uh, on the next video I'll talk about my experience of riding this bike after for about 300 to 400 kilometers. So without wasting any further guys, let's get started. Okay, so this is the all new Duke 390. Uh, in a fully in a fresh way and this is the atlantic blue or model uh, you get another color there are only two colors in this uh, variant one is the atlantic blue and the another one is an electric orange and this is how it looks and you know this indian things <laughs> so yeah this is how it looks fully fledged way So at the side, this is how it looks, uh, everything looks in this way. Uh, the one uh, major thing I like about this bike is the wire management. If you see here, these wires are really well planned. They have uh, made a proper planning on these wires and it's not uh, very nakedly done. I mean, if you see Husqvarna, uh, Swat Pillion or Wit Pillion, those wires have not managed very well. But then the, the, on this, the wire management is really good. If you see over here as well, the wire management are really good. Uh, so the side profile looks in this way. This is an Atlantic blue. And if you see the stickerings over here, this is like, uh, after adding the stickers of this Duke 390 they have, they have added a paint on it so this is actually good so you can't remove the stickers if you see here you can't remove the stickers they have already um, added a paint over it so yeah it is a really good uh, looks good actually uh, and the paints are very glossy and you have a branding over here KTM uh, and also there is a coolant over here and this is the new engine LC4C 399 cc 46 bhp and at the back the tyres uh, profile uh, if you ask me the tyre profile over here it is written 15060 R17 so it's a Mazilla to uh, sports M series tyres and uh, you get the Bibre disc brakes also at the back the tail section most of the people were saying the tail section looks like an end torque <laughs> i don't know but then this is how it is the tail section i am hoping uh, most of the aftermarket tip, uh, accessories you will get a really good tail section where you can get also uh, 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 turn by turn indicators like this because uh, this mudguard is really long and one more thing uh, if you noticed in this mudguard uh, most of the people might say this why it is very long because I, I, I felt uh, they have done in a very clever way because if you see here this is a tail section okay but then oh, this part particularly this part uh, it acts as a tire hugger so this tire hugger actually they have integrated to this tail, uh, tail tidy so it looks in a clean way not like you you have a, a separate tail tidy and other uh, and another uh, tire hugger over here so they have uh, they have designed in a very clever way most of the people would like it most of the people don't like it it's, it's a very subjective thing but then yeah they have designed it very well and over here there's another thing actually if you can see clearly the offset monoshock because this monoshock will help you to give a uh, space for the air box over there there's another mechanism at the back so they have given and also there's another uh, good features of this uh, uh, offset suspensions so yeah this is how it looks and at the down you get the exhaust pipe 
and this exhaust pipe is not not literally in the down they have managed in a really good way they have brought it in the sideways not totally at the down so yep this is the sideways and if you see at the front this is how it looks okay headlights it's very subjective some people may like it some people may not like it i personally like it because it looks similar to our uh, 1290 super duke r the the headlight setup looks in the same way it looks like a mini super duke so yeah it, the headlight personally for me i really loved it and that is why i bought it uh, because uh, uh, frankly speaking before buying this I have uh, booked interceptor 650 but then later when i saw this bike i was like wow i need to have this bike and later that is why i have bought this bike uh, because of this looks uh, looks are really the look of this bike is very aggressive so yep this is how it looks and if you talk about uh, the tire section of this uh, of this front uh, it is 11070 r17 uh, uh, also so this is a tube, uh, tubeless radial tires from medzilla so yep headlight section they have just separated this daylight running over here and uh, get that uh, headlight setup uh, frankly speaking uh, okay sorry uh, uh, the complete review of this uh, headlight setup or everything of this bike I'll, I'll make a separate video of this so right now just about this and if you see you get a hazard indicator as well with this bike which is indicated with this uh, you uh, so you don't need to add another what you say flash at a flash hazard x or uh, something others so this uh, you get a hazard indicator as well so yep, this is how it looks and this other side this is how it looks the gear system and all this is how it looks okay so now uh, let's talk about the display setting let, let me just off it and if you if i turn it on looks cool right so the instrumental cluster is really good we got all the information in this uh, i'll make a separate video of this instrumental cluster as well for now this is how it looks if i press the buttons the, these are the buttons given on this bike over here as well the mirrors are actually good right now it is uh, pretty tight the visibility of this uh, mirrors are really good so yep and also there's a ma another major thing you get an adjustable wp suspensions so uh, at the right side you have a, a rebound and this uh, left side you have a compression so you can tune it five step tuning but now, now i haven't touched it anything because i don't want to mess up right now it's a uh, fresh bike i don't want to mess anything up and also if you see at the side you get a usb type c port over here so you can easily charge your phones or your gopros any uh, anything on the go so yep it is uh, it's also good and if you press the button over here you get a different modes so i'll, uh, I'll as, as i said you i'll make a separate video of this so stay tuned for that as well and if you if i press the horn this is how it sounds okay this is how it sounds and let's just start the bike for a while i'll just let you know how the sound of this bike So this is my bike Duke 390 this is how it looks this is a walk around of this bike so I'll make a, a video of my personal experience after riding this bike for an about 300 kilometers I'll make a separate video as well for now this is a walk around of this all new Duke 
Atlantic Blue 390. So thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Do comment down if you have any queries related to this bike. Uh, and I see you in my next video very soon. So until then, bye-bye.